Howdy toddy everybody, this is Tommy with Colonel Reb Scale Models coming at you with an update on the Coronavirus 500 group build hosted by Pappy over at Fred Henry's West Georgia Rod and Customs. So I started with this kit, remember this was the one that had the pre-painted body. Um, so all the black trim, the yellow, the blue, the 43s, and the striping and the demarcation lines, all that was pre-painted. So really all you have to do is put on the decals. So that's what I decided to do. I said, let me do the decals first to make sure they do well. If they don't do well, then I may have to switch kits. Um, but I got all the decals on. Um, everything went on pretty well. Uh, obviously the ones that gave me the most problems were the two um, headlight lenses, but they eventually lay down for the most part. There's still a little bit of crinkling after several applications of Microsoft. Um, and then this one is probably the worst. You might can see, you might can see a little bit of some of the, the wrinkling there. Yeah, you can catch it where the light is reflecting back. So it doesn't feel, it feels just a little bit of a bump. So I'm just going to kind of leave it because um, I'm going to clear it anyway. So maybe the clear will just kind of help even it out some but it's not really noticeable. Um, all the other decals went on fine. There's some that were a little more uh, problematic than others like this one here. Um, anything that had a curve obviously was gonna, was gonna be a little bit of an issue, but for the most part, they did fine. Um, there was some crinkling of the paint, I guess from the factory on this yellow here, just on the deck lid. Um, and then a little bit behind here, but some of the stickers, or excuse me, some of the decals are actually covering it up, so it's not too bad. And hopefully it's not, it's not really noticeable unless the light catches it. The other two decals, like this one here and this one here, this is actually two pieces. So this is a piece, and then this is a piece. Of course, this one has the, the, the punch through it. But of course, being at the corner, they didn't line up. They weren't gonna line up. Um, this one did a little better than the other side. Um, it still got a little bit of a raised edge, and so I'll either try to go touch it up with just some, some paint right through that little gap right there that you see. I don't know if you can really see it. Um, there's a little bit of a gap where the yellow is showing through, but from a distance, you don't really notice it, but I may try to go touch it up before I put the clear on. But other than that, the glass, the, the plastic was really good shape. I can still be kind of polished out with some of the... Uh, some of the Novus get it nice and spiffy. And then other than that, these decals, like this is one big sheet. This is a big sheet. This was a big sheet. This was a little bit difficult. It had a little bit of an edge right there hanging over. Um, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. I mean, for some reason, you know, this was on already and you had to put the little Cheerio. Who knows? Um, the other ones that kind of set, uh, I guess they should have just left these and you could have just, you know, black washed the grills, but they had decals for all. So I say, well, if they're going to have the decals, I'll go ahead and try to put them on. And then these actually lay down pretty well, even though it just goes around the curve. But for the most part, they weren't too bad. Um, I'm kind of pleased with it. They were thick, uh, thick. They were strong, I guess I should say, because they, and they didn't take long to come off the paper either. You just have them literally floating on top and then within 10 or 15 seconds of just some warm water, the bottom would literally, the paper would literally fall off. But I was able to take some uh, flat uh, tweezers, flat end tweezers and just go in and just get, scoop it up and just lay it on there. I mean, they didn't tear or anything. So they were thick enough to hold, uh, but not too thick to really lay down smoothly. Um, so that's, that's my update. So now, um, I'm working on the buddy bill with Papa Dan. I started on the Stuka a little bit last night once I got this finished. So I'm gonna kind of work both of them together. And then, so now for the for the kit for the coronavirus, it's just a matter of doing the um, the chassis and everything. It's a, it, I don't recall it having, I think it's a curbside. I'm not really sure. It does have an opening hood, so I'll have to double check. But I do know that there's like 18, 15 to 18 stickers or decals for the driver himself. So that'll be fun trying to wrap the little helmet and stuff. I'm not looking forward to that. Um, but I have to paint the paint the uh, the blue on him first. But anyway, just a quick update. I don't want to go too long. I hope everybody's staying safe. You know, we're starting to open up here. Still need to go get a haircut. But my, my haircut place hasn't opened yet, so I'm waiting for that. Um, haven't gone to any restaurants. Haven't heard a lot of people talking about it. But slowly but surely, we'll get back to normal. Went on a nice hike with the family at a state park this past weekend. Probably 20 people there. 
but it was nice. The weather was beautiful. So if you can get a chance to get out, get out, enjoy yourself. Um, it looks like we may in most places be getting past this. Who knows? But anyway, stay safe. As always, hotty toddy and God bless.